Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest date on the calendar. Uh, the one and only Miss Groper pageant. I wake up in the morning to the sound of waves calling and I look at my window to see a new day dawning. Out on the beach, Jesse is jogging and on some mornings you'll find Mr. Stewart throwing in a line. While in the diner, the coffee is brewing and at the school, Mr. Hyde is getting ready to give us a drilling. With its crystal clear waters and natural beauty, it's still the people that make this town so important. Yeah. It's a place where people take time to listen. No, so look at the tent. Whether you're in the diner so or hunch, that's all. on the beach. And you always know that there's a friendly hand within reach. It may only be a tiny dot on the map, but once you've been to Summer Bay, you'll always come back. Thank you very much, Tasha. Let's see your granddaughter well. beat that. Interesting poem. Yeah, I, I wrote it just before I decided to go. But how can you leave if you feel that strongly about the place? Easy, I'll just jump into Josie's car and away we'll go. We're leaving just after they made a decision. Right. So you're going to leave without saying goodbye? I thought we were worth more than that. Yeah, so did I until I heard what you said to those girls. How many times do I have to say it? I'm sorry, I was wrong. And why did you make it worse by going out with Sam? You know I was only trying to make you jealous. Nothing happened and it's over anyway. Why am I even bothering? Maybe it's a good thing you're going. If you can throw away everything we had over a silly mistake. And I must have meant as much to you as you did to me. Have fun in the city, Tasha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the winner of Miss Groper 2005, would you please give it up once again for these beautiful ladies on stage? The runner-up for Miss Groper 2005 is... Miss Cassie Turner. Congratulations, there's your sash. And of course, beautiful bunch of flowers. Once again, congratulations, Cassie. The moment you've all been waiting for. The distinguished title of Miss Groper 2005 is awarded to... Drum roll. Drrr, ding! Miss Tasha Andrews! Congratulations. Tasha, there's your sash. We have a big bunch of flowers and of course our beautiful replica. Is that right? Here we go. Congratulations once again, Miss Groper 2005. And please keep that applause going for all of our beautiful ladies on stage. Congratulations, you've all did a fantastic job today. I knew it all along. I said to myself, Colleen Smart, that girl is destined for great things. Yeah, like a move to the city. Oh, sweetheart, you did real well. Oh, thank you. She's certainly leaving town on a high note. Mm. You know, she's still here, mate. Don't go there. Why? Because you'd rather be proud than say how you really feel. Since when were you the expert? Since I realised that my stubborn pride was keeping me away from Hayley. Well, I've done all I can. Are you sure about that? Really? Well, that's it. If I've left anything, just throw it out. Oh, I'll drive it down to the city for you, love you and me. We're still going to see a lot of each other. Yes. I'll take this. Yes. So, 
This is it. I think so. Are you angry with me? No, love, of course. I'm not angry. I'm just trying to get used to the idea of not having you to come home to. That's all. I'm... It's not easy, but I'm, I'm being brave. I'm really going to miss you. No one's ever loved me like you love me. Right? Hey, not loved. Love. It'll always be the present tense, you hear me? Yeah. Good. Now, forgetting me, forgetting Josie, forgetting everyone else, are you absolutely sure that this is what you want? Yeah, I'll be alright when I get to the city. <laughs> Here's a little something to remind you oh, of us. You shouldn't have, thank you. <laughs> no, we wanted to. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're saying goodbye. It feels like another terrible ending to what should have been a wonderful day. Oh, Colleen, what happened to Joy wasn't your fault, no matter what you think. Um, and I want you to have this. Oh, no, I couldn't. It's yours. You earned it. Colleen, you earned it, really. I'd be much happier knowing you're keeping it for me. Oh, well... If you insist. <laughs> you managed to fit it all in. I don't know how. So, what have you ready? Okay. Um, I hate goodbyes. Don't go then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had the best time of my life here, and that's not an exaggeration. And it's because of everyone in this room. You know, I feel like I'm leaving so much kindness and so many beautiful friends um, yeah I'm not gonna forget you guys oh, I'm gonna miss you okay I'm sorry you're leaving Josie you look after that girl, so help me God. I promise, I will. I thought you were going to see Tash off. I did. She's gone. What was your present? Um, I don't know. Can't bear to open it. I've got an emergency. You have to go faster. I can't. You have to because it's life and death. Yeah, and so is driving, alright? Just calm down, we will catch them. You don't understand, it's now or never. Is that them? Yes, it is fast, Scott. Go! Can save Gonna guess who's behind us. I've been the biggest jerk in the entire universe. I don't deserve you, and I don't, I don't know if you can ever forgive me. But I need you to know that I love you. I love you like a crazy person, like I am never going to love anyone else. Ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you. And I'm sorry that I 
that I was stupid enough to think that making you jealous was cooler than swallowing my pride. I was wrong. And I need you in my life because you make me a better person. Without you, I'm nothing. I love you, Tash. Please, don't go. I don't want to lose you. I just, I can't leave. You're not going to lose me. I will miss you. But you can come and visit me whenever you want. So you understand. You forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. If you want to make it work with Robbie, you got to make a good go of it. No more tears. As Mr. Shakespeare said, all's well that ends well. Yeah, but I really thought I'd lost you back there, Toots. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess you all around. Oh, darling, it's okay. You know, a few more wrinkles, but nothing a good night's sleep won't fix. Oh, oh I love oh, you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Sweet dreams, love. Good night, sweet dreams. Oh, Robbie, don't be too late. Your mum will be worried. Right. Well, personally, I never want to get caught between the two of you again. Is that a deal? More than a deal. Good. Hey, Kim, thanks for trying to make us wake up. You're the best friend. That was worth it. Night. Good night. You know what this means, don't you? What? It's you and me forever now. Forever, forever? Yeah. This might sound dumb at our age, but... I'm pretty sure I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. That doesn't sound dumb. But it's weird to be so sure. The thing is, I'm sure too. 